Hey everybody, welcome to Season 4 of Dark Souls. Uh, yeah, so I have a character in mind that I'm building, and unfortunately, he will not really be done until the basically the completion of the game. So I am going to essentially just do a standard night playthrough here, and then the next season will be the th will be another themed uh, will be another themed Dark Souls run. So yeah, so I, you know you can see my guy's warrior. It's gonna be a 120 build when it's all done. And yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a hoot. I'm excited for it. You excited for it? You don't even know what it is. So you can't be. If you said yeah, you're a liar. Right. So hopefully we can get past the gargoyles in this episode. We're just gonna speed through Tutorial Town here. Oh, I wanted to get inside. Ooh, that was close. Ooh. Bank sniper. Oh no, fog wall. I guess I'm being invaded. Just kidding. Just pull down up here, roll down there, let that break through, talk to this guy. Okay, we're not really interested in talking to, so here you go. Thank you. See you later. I'll come back to kill you. Just rest here again. Don't know why. Because I believe that was the last bonfire I rested at anyway. I don't think I rested at the one. After the boss or yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of my way, jeez. Didn't you want to teach you no manners? You gotta get out of people's ways. In your face! That looked kinda weird. Souls off. I didn't pick up any souls, did I? Nah, dang. I kind of want to just quickly run over and get some souls. Or I could try to murder this man, though at this point in the game it might be a little bit more difficult than it should be for the amount of souls I would get. Uh, hmm. I know what I'll uh, no. That won't work. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go and try to murder him. This guy does have quite a bit of health. How's he a rat? You have some nerve. I may be classic. Bring it on! But I'm not defenseless, you rascal! You will soon regret this! Oh, I parried that, you liar. Oh, he tried to parry me! Trapped? No, he's not. All right. Doesn't really work when I'm in an area where music plays. This is like the most. This is like the most boring fight ever, just because of the music. By the way, I should probably mention any changes I'm going to be doing with this season. Oh God. 
Uh, you know how last season I always recorded based on progression, and I also recorded, uh, I would try to record the day that I would post the video so that I could keep up with the comments, but I decided to change, uh, the progression's gonna stay the same. I'm gonna make my videos based on progression, so some might be a bit shorter, some might be a bit longer than the standard 20 minutes, but, uh, I'm gonna record them in sessions again because I wasn't able to keep up with the day-to-day, -day, uh, thing I like to do. I like to have one video up at least each day. Not too shabby. And I was able to miss that because it's a lot easier to just, you know, have a couple hours free. Oh, don't want to let low some of this. It's a lot easier to have a couple hours free and then just get a bunch of episodes out of the way than it is to just try to make time every day. Even though it's less time, just trying to make time each day is uh, definitely more difficult. Anyway, we're just gonna get all the formalities out of the way. I wanna go down and get the fire keep a show. Make things a bit easier. Not that I need it, of course. <laughs> just send that back up. wanted to try to do a fancy trick where I would drop down and then do a plunging attack the direction I was facing to break the pod, but that worked well. Uh, I, I'm At least I'm 99% uh, percent sure nobody's going to see that coming, so hey, yeah, you can still be surprised by these. I'm obviously the worst Dark Souls player ever. Because <laughs> I think I sent the elevator back up, so I'm going to call it back up. And See, this is why you do that. Just in case, you know, you land on a pod, it doesn't break like you expected it to, and then you swing your weapon and go get launched off the pod for some inexplicable reason. So we're just, we're gonna, I'm just gonna pretend that didn't happen. Okay, so, oh, whoa, why is my blood stain here? I never died here. What are you talking about, game? What's wrong with you? See, that happened just as it should. Because it's never happened any other way. Yeah. I probably should have ran and tried to get like the curse by ring and stuff like that, but eh, fuck it. Eh, fuck it. Ah, I gotta get these songs out of my head. I'm sure nobody wants to constantly hear me go da 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 because fucking Castlevania has the best music ever. I mean, that just goes without saying, but I feel like I should say it anyway. Ah, oh, man. Can't wait for that Dark Souls. 2. Every single time I hear something new about Dark Souls 2, I just get more and more excited. Like I know I've mentioned this already. I think I've, maybe not in an episode, but I know I've mentioned this to people. But now in Dark Souls 2, very similar to Demon Souls, when you start dying, you're gonna lose health. Except in a, in a, it'll work in a different fashion. Instead of uh, oh, well I'm dead. Uh, instead of just losing half of your health when you're not human like it was in Demon Souls, you're going to lose your health in increments. People are guessing that you're going to lose your, like, 10% of your max health until you get down to 50%. And then, when you use your humanity, you'll get back up to full health. And the best part is that even, you know, I should have went down to the skeletons by going this way. Oh, more time to sink in the video. Nobody can complain that I don't release long content. Quality content, maybe they can argue that, but long content, nope. <laughs> right, uh, so, no more bones, but oh yeah, also I didn't mention what the best part is, I think I forgot to mention what the best part is, the best part is, 
even when you're hollow in Dark Souls 2, you can still be invaded, which is awesome. For two reasons. One, I like being able to be invaded. And the second reason being that I like to do invasions. So I'll be able to find invasions much more frequent frequently if, you know, nobody can avoid them. You know, without just pulling their internet plug and putting it in online mode and plugging it back in while it's still in offline mode. There you go. If I, since I get the feeling a lot more people are going to want an offline mode, I mean, they might as well add it. Because, I mean, the way I see it, if you're offline, I don't I don't care if you want to make the... Like, it, when you play offline, I don't care if you want to do things like mod your game or cheat in your game. So, since people are probably going to want to go offline to avoid invasions, you might as well just give it to them. I mean, the explanation probably didn't make much sense. But I'm, basically, what I'm trying to say is, people should be able to play the game they want if it's in offline mode, but if it's an online game, you should have to play it the way it's designed to be played. I mean, yeah, obviously there's going to be glitches, and people can go ahead and use those as long as it doesn't give me an unfair advantage. You know, you, you know what I mean, I'm sure. But, yeah. Uh, but, yeah. So, you know, give people an offline mode. I know there's going to be some people who are going to want to not be invaded, and if they want to play that way, that's fine. Just, you know, give them an offline mode to do it. Because, you know, once they're in offline mode, I couldn't care how they play I mean, I guess playing offline would be the reason to give them an offline mode, as opposed to like you know having an offline mode available in case people want to. I go, oh, the fuck, I'm, I'm ranting on something when I know you guys already get what I'm trying to say, so I'll just stop. But yeah, yeah. But yeah. Also, uh, the main reason, me, ah, the main reason why I'm completely fine with being able to be invaded all the time. I'm sure a lot of people, the first thing they think when they hear "be invaded all the time." is Twinks coming in and destroying all the lower level guys. I don't think that's going to be the case because elemental weapons will will have to scale in this one where they didn't before. I mean, you'll still obviously, if, if the operating system works in a similar way other than the elemental weapons needing scaling, uh, obviously someone's going to get a much more powerful weapon. But uh, what I hope happens is when you upgrade your weapon, instead of it having such a higher like base damage, I hope they increase the scaling effect. So you still need to have higher stats, but upgrading is still very beneficial or something. Just I don't know. It's just it just if you're gonna be all if you're gonna, if you're gonna be able to be invaded all the time, they need to make sure twinking just can't happen. I mean I know yeah sure people can go through the trouble of making that and they deserve it whatever, but. The reason why I felt it was okay for people to just get that and say that they just that they earned it was because people can avoid them if they didn't want to. Because it is like I mean, granted, I I have a guy who I would say is kind of a twink. He uses raw weapons, but he's clearly stronger than most other people. I just use raw weapons because I don't want to one shot him or two shot him. But uh, you know, I would clearly, I would definitely say he's definitely stronger than the rest, and I do have an unfair advantage. But you know, I don't care because it's Dark Souls. Uh. But the thing is, actually, let me put this fire under. That's fat rolling. Gotta take off the helmet. That's me rolling. Okay. The thing is, though, I would be to I would be perfectly fine with people twinking, you know, because they earned it. But also because stop swinging at me. I don't have any poise. Swinging at me isn't fair. But, you know, the reason why I would always find all these things okay is because you can just avoid it from going hollow. I mean, I feel that was the real reason to go hollow, is if maybe you were being invaded, or you needed help for, I mean, or, you know, if you are being invaded, you needed to avoid that, or if you didn't have any mana. I think that's what they were hoping people would, like, how people would use it in Dark Souls 1. And they just didn't really do that. They just kind of stayed in hollow form until they needed help for a boss. Because, I mean, you know, why go human? Whoa, dude leaped around me. He defied. He, yeah, def defied. He defied the laws of physics. I can already tell right now this is going to be a pretty long episode because I, once I get, because yeah, I want to kill the gargoyles this episode, but I still got to go through the forest, and oh, okay, I'm dead, and I'm going to die and have to respawn. I think the fault of my death there was just how slow this fight hander was. I probably should have still had my long sword out. 
Especially since I can fast the roll with the longsword. Also, I need to get the wolf ring ASAP. I'm gonna go back to the longsword. But yeah, I definitely gotta get the wolf ring ASAP. I get stun locked to death uh, so easily with like no poise. Especially when I was medium rolling. So I switched over to fast roll with the longsword, but uh, you know, hopefully. Hopefully it won't, I won't have many issues in the fast one, even though I'm doing damage. Uh, also, you know, Dark Souls 2, uh, it seems like there's some occult miracles, because I've heard of a Dark Orb uh, spell in the next Dark Souls game, but it's a miracle, apparently. And what I hear it does is it drains your enemy's stamina and it gives it to you, which could be super handy. The way I kind of hope it works is that it drains it at like it drains it over time and you gain more mana faster for a while. I kind of hope that's how it works cuz it doesn't really take that long to gain all of your stamina back if you're just you know doing it normally or if you're just waiting around. So, I don't know. I feel like it wouldn't make all that much sense to just give it to you one big burst. I mean, I guess if you had really heavy armor on and thus your stamina replenished really slow. Oh, don't fall down there. Then I guess it would make more sense. Maybe that's what they intended it uh, for, but you know. But yeah, you know, it seems like there's going to be some occult miracles because it's dark orb and it's a miracle. It's pretty odd. Also, for this guy, I want to get this Viander back out. Can I run around butt naked and yeah, I can run around butt naked and fast roll. It's not completely butt naked. He's got a man thong on. Oh, I failed to parry that. It still took away my stamina for parrying, though. <laughs> I just stood there and took it. Oh, this is going to be a long episode indeed. This is probably the most I've ever died in a season, and it all happened in the first episode. Yes. We'll just run past everything. Oh, we'll just run to the tower, actually. I get the feeling if I get to have and start fighting him, they'll just show up behind me. So we'll run to the tower, they'll all get funneled in, and we'll just destroy them. Just, I, gotta, I gotta get my Dark Souls food together. God, that guy was blocking me. What a dick. Yep. Yeah. Stay away from me, I have no poise. Ah, the shockwave knocked him back. Oh, hi. He leaped as I leaped. What a dick. That time, that time he just leaped his neck into the sword. I think it actually did hit him like right on the neck, which is pretty sweet. This fucking guy. Turtling with a spear. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> of course, I don't hit him. There we go. Much better. Ah, let's top off our health. Get our shield ready for a parry. I'll take that because there's humanity in that blood stain as well as some souls. Whoa, if I got killed there, I would have been really annoyed. Alright, here we go. Parry the poop out of him. I have to really make sure I don't like mess up a backstab and do a swing instead because that would probably get me killed because of how slow my weapon is. I just gotta make sure he doesn't like do that thing where he immediately turns around while he's getting up. You, you'll probably I'll point it out when it happens. You'll notice it's probably kind of different than the rest. If it happens, maybe I'm gonna go through this whole time without that happening. Oh, it would be a first if it didn't happen this whole time, though. This poor bastard, I'm just, I feel like a bully. Just get back down, hell. <laughs> He's stupid. <laughs> get back down. Oh, God. <laughs> get back down. You tried to fight bad guys, isn't that funny? <laughs> All right. I like how just as I start kind of making fun of him, he like he's like, "No!" <laughs> he almost smacks me to death. 
Right, okay, so now I can wear more stuff. And still fast roll, so. Probably not all of this, though. Yeah. Still not all that. Still not that. Jeez. Whatever. This should work. There we go. Yeah. Helmet and pants. What more could you ask for? I'm trying to defend yourself. Let's get to this bonfire over here. This is definitely going to be a long episode. If I was doing this based on time, I'd be ending it as soon as I get to this bonfire down here. I guess we hit that 20 minute mark. But I ah, do it based on progression. I really actually should not be fighting this guy yet. As far as I know, he doesn't get his health back when he rested upon far. I don't know. I'm just I'm just guessing because he doesn't like go. He doesn't like warp back to where he normally goes when he rested upon fire. So maybe his health stays the same too. If it, if it doesn't, no big deal. I just gotta parry him one extra time, I guess. One more strength. Probably use a soul. Or three. I think I still will be a little bit short, but at least when I kill the Black Knight, I shouldn't be, so... Da -da -da. Yeah, oh well. Oh, that was too early. Oh, God. Good thing I rested at that bonfire. <laughs> oh, no! You just immediately just he just assaults me when I'm trying to just enjoy my delicious cup of sunny D. Oh, that's not gonna work. Rest of the bummer. Like I said, died more times in this episode than I have probably of all last season, which you know just lets you know what kind of how long the episodes you're gonna you're gonna be having are. Okay, I gotta stop playing like some guy who isn't me. So I'm gonna start doing good now. Grab this grass crest shield. Turn around, poop on this guy. Oh god, he's turning so fast! He's the fastest turner I've ever seen. Oh, uh, it was partial parry. Oh, I'm just gonna hide in this cave. Yeah, that's right, you back away. You're, f you're afraid of caves. This fucking guy, turtling while he pokes. I've never, he's, he's, he turns as fast as the speed of sound. It's really annoying. There, suck it. I'm gonna parry the crap out of you. You're gonna die from parries. I fucking declared it. Think you can get away with murdering me? No, sir. I'm gonna parry you again. Bring it on. Yeah, you don't want to anger Mike. He'll parry everything you do now. Or, you don't want to anger Boo Pie. He'll, he'll parry everything. Also, I got your shield. I stole your shield. I gotta take off my helmet. Oh well. Small price to pay to have the Grass Crash shield. Equipped and ready to go. Da -da -da -da. In fact, I think it'd be fun. Uh, yeah, we'll just get everything out of this. Man, four minutes to kill that Black Knight. I'm slipping. Gotta stop doing these recording sessions at one in the morning. Although I did kind of just wake up, so I don't know if that means I woke up super early or super late. But uh, there, there you go. I really wanted to. I could probably <laughs> crank out this whole season, uh, but but if just in, in just in time for breakfast. Although I guess I'll probably not. I'm not gonna wait till it's actually like morning to eat breakfast. I'll have breakfast soon because I just woke up. Uh, yeah, I'm playing. I'm doing this before breakfast, guys. Just so you know. And you know, since this episode's gonna be long as fuck anyway, might as well make a little side trip 
and get the wolf ring. I'm sure people will like that. You know, I've been, people like to have long episodes of, of stuff they like to watch. I'm assuming you guys like to watch since you're watching the freaking fourth season. I would imagine if you're watching the first time, you watch the first season. Whoop! Oh god. I wanna get that poise so bad. Can't even tell you. I'm used to fighting in PvP without poise, but PvE just I just can't do it. I need like at least the 40 of the Wolverine, just so I can not get stunned every single hit. Just oh god. And we can one hand this now. Goody goody gumdrops. Start putting points in endurance. At least I think we can. Yeah, we can one hand this. I can use a shield and attack. Holy crap. Also, for those who don't know, do not loot that item. It's just a small soul and it'll just make it so those trees ambush you whenever you want. But I just like to keep it there so I don't have to deal with those trees each time. Because, I mean, they're just, they just get in the way. Also, let me get the Elite Knight armor. I think I'll start like pretty sure I'll just go ahead and start medium rolling, but I'll have more defense. I'll have more poise. Like I, I ju like I just mentioned that I like to have a lot of poise, so there we go. This with the wolf ring and I'll medium roll and everything will be all good. And I wanna upgrade the long sword. I wanna play through as sort of like a knightly looking dude, so I'm gonna be using like, you know, a sword halberd, that kind of stuff. That's the way I wanna do it. Medium roll, sword halberd, all that junk. That's that's fat roll right there. I don't want that. What if I put this on? Am I would I just I yeah, it's one pound that I'm going over. Okay, well I really want the grass crash shield on though, so which is we'll take off the helmet. So I know I've said this a million times already, but those, those trees scare the crap out of me. By the way, I saw that one... Anyone who heard me talk about it on the stream, I saw that freaking lizard again. And again, he ran somewhere, and then I looked, and he wasn't there anymore. He's magic... Well, actually... No, no, no. Let, let, let me tell you exactly what happened. Uh, actually, let me start from the beginning so people know what I'm talking about. I was doing a stream. I was playing Dark Souls one time. And I saw a lizard on my wall, and I went to go get uh, a cup and a plate so I could catch him and put him outside. And when I come back with the, cup, with the cup and plate, I see him run behind the desk. And I look behind the desk, and he's not there anymore. Then the next morning, I'm using my computer, and I see him like hanging on the side of my desk. And I see him quickly sprint underneath my keyboard. Then I lift up my keyboard, and he's not there. I mean, I'm guessing like when I turned away to get like the the cup and plate that I had in my room just because I was waiting for him to, until I saw him again. Uh, I'm guessing that maybe he bolted from underneath the keyboard to somewhere else. But I am. Um, creepy business. And then, so yeah, so today, uh, I see him... Uh, I'm like, uh, today I see, I like, I go to the bathroom and I see him uh, st standing on the floor and I see him running underneath the bathroom carpet thing, because it's one of those ones you just have sitting on the ground, not like anything. Because who would have a carpet in their bathroom? That would be ridiculous. It's one of those, like, carpet pads for you to stand on when you get out of the shower, so you don't slip around. But yeah, I saw him run underneath that, and I lift it up, and, you know, he's not, he's not, I mean, he's not magically vanished this time. He actually runs away. And then I see him go back underneath the carpet, I'm like, okay, I guess I'll just lift it up again, so you come out again. And no, I lift it up, and he's not there again. So... This, it's a, I have a crystal lizard living in my home. He keeps running away and then disappearing. A la, uh, you know, crystal lizard Dark Souls. Why is there no sound? This guy. Okay, it all just caught up. I hope that's not the sound effing up in the video. I know that's happened before. One time I had the sound not kick in for a moment, and then when it did kick back in, the sound effed up. So maybe the sound's effed up for you guys now, 
If it is, I apologize. It kind of makes me want to end the episode here, but like I said, I want to kill the gargoyles. Look at that guy. Also, let me get that wolf ring. Hmm. You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to quickly stop and start the video, and then I'll edit both parts together in a video program just to make sure the sound isn't effed up. Actually, I think I did that before, and the sound was still effed up. Dang it! Curse my lack of decent video editing software. I'm just going to hope it's okay and move on, I guess. I'll make it super quick. But see, the thing is, I want, like, I want to go talk to Solaire and then go kill the gargoyles because it's just more convenient for me that way. I, I can, I can do all that really quick. I'll do it super, I'll do it super Jiffy style. Oh no, I have so much poise. Don't hit me. That way, if the episode is effed up, it won't be that much longer in it. Also, I mean, I've gone so far over time. Oh, I forgot this guy's here. I forgot you're a thing. Oh, and I forgot that mage is a thing too. I'm gonna just get out of here if you don't mind. Once we kill him off, we're gonna. I just, I just like to get this guy out of the way as soon as I can, and then I'm gonna go run off and go talk to Solaire when I can. A sap. I'm hoping there's no sound issues. Like the last time it happened in Dark Souls, I had sound issues. It was right on the finale too, which really sucked. But I've had times where that's happened and I didn't have sound issues, so I'm just kind of hoping it's gonna be one of those times. Also, I'm running low on Estus Flasks. That's not good. Oh, God! Okay. Suck it, Mage. Right, let's go save Vault Track 2 while we're here. Might as well. Ah! Uh... Going back to the, going back to when I talked about uh, pacing episodes yes. on progress as opposed to time. Obviously, that won't apply to any game I haven't played through before, because like, you know I won't know how much progress I'm actually making. But you know, for those, 20 minutes gonna be the magic number. Uh, for games that have like, like you said that I was playing, I don't think I'm ever gonna do a series with like Grand Theft Auto 5 or anything like that. But if I did, you know, since there's missions in the game, I would probably separate episodes based on those missions and what that but you know but you know with Dark Souls 2 rolls around since you know, I don't know how far away all the bosses are and if an area even has a boss sometimes an area, an area might not have a boss every now and then some area might have multiple bosses so you know you get where I'm going you get you get where I'm coming from so Dark Souls 2 probably gonna be 20 minute videos I get that I obviously that's gonna be a pretty long series I would have a pretty long first season of that I would imagine cuz oh god you back away sir yeah you go ahead and prepare to parry I'll just heal up be it back at full health and then R2 <laughs> forward R2 attack you so you can't parry there you go you, your plan works flawlessly uh, yeah you know Dark, uh, Dark Souls 2 what's gonna happen with Dark Souls 2 I'm gonna like once I get to like to 20 minutes or something like that I'll probably uh either end it when I'm at the next bonfire or when I die and I'm back at the previous bonfire. I kind of hope I'm not like I don't like have to do areas multiple times in Dark Souls 2 because I don't want to have episodes be like, oh, I'm going to this area for the seventh episode in a row. Or ba -da -ba -do. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm confident. <clears throat> I'll be pretty good in Dark Souls 2. 
I mean, I was pretty good at Dark Souls immediately because of all the demons and stuff like that. I wasn't as good as I am now, obviously. But, you know, I'm pretty good. But better than the average bear, we'll just say that. Hopefully, if I'm lucky, I'll get into the Dank Souls 2 beta and, uh,. Asshole knows there's something from pulling the lever like two or three times. Hopefully, if I'm lucky, I'll get in the Dark Souls 2 beta and get a feel for the game right away. That way, when I start up Dark Souls 2 you know, Season 1, I'll, you know, I won't have to go through all this stuff where I familiarize myself with the controls. Although, I suppose you guys might like that because you know, if I explain what's going on as I'm familiarizing myself with the controls, you guys might get the gist of it before you even start playing, assuming that you haven't started playing yet. Suck it. Oh no! There's a bonfire right ahead. No big deal. I didn't see his health numbers show up there. That's weird. Oh god, I gotta use this last Estus flask. Once I get over here. I should, I'll make it. No big deal. Cutting that one pretty close. By the way, for people who like to complain that about twinks in the bird, here's how you don't have to worry about them. I have one soul left. Uh, you, you see this verse all I'm going? Don't touch it. There you go. Problem solved. Stop the bitch. <laughs> Can I have a crazy mic. It's going to be twinks in Dark Souls 2, and they're going to ruin everything. I don't think so. I actually had an issue the first time I recorded this episode, and I actually started all over. And I don't know if I talked about the whole twinking stuff in that episode, or if I talked about it in this episode. But yeah, uh, elemental weapons are go not going to really work the same way in Dark Souls 2. They're going to scale with your stats. So you can't just have, like, you know, a lightning katana level 4 guy wrecking everything with my lightning katana. No, it's going to be like, oh, you have lightning katana? Well, I hope you have a lot of faith, because that's uh, what it scales uh, with. No, no. So, you know, you, you go ahead and get your lightning katana and do poopy damage. Oh, I have. The way I. In a. This please. This. But all the same, I suppose, in this game, even with poopy scaling, you can get a plus 15 weapon and still destroy people at your level pretty easily. But what I hope they do is in. Uh, I hope in that in Dark Souls 2 they change it so that. Uh, upgrading a uh, weapon increases the scaling like extra, like just extremely. That way you can, um, you know, this twinking won't really work. It'll be like, like right now, it's everything's based more on equipment than stats. So when I feel there should be a, like a, you know an equal, uh, like an equilibrium or whatever, where stats are just as important as its gear. And it kind of seems like that's going to be the case, because you know. Um, Based on what I've heard, it seems like there might actually be a stat that determines how good your roll is. If that, if that were the case, I would imagine that endurance with like equipment burden, the way that would work is you're just you're either at your equipment burden or you're not, and then you increase your roll speed with stats. I'm sure there's gonna be some meta, some kind of meta there, or meta or whatever the heck you guys want to call it. I'm sure there's gonna be some kind of meta where, uh, where people will figure out like the exact roll distance you need to dodge like all the things that you'd want to dodge easily and they'll be like okay so every, all the pvp builds are now going to have like an agility stat of like 22 or something like that i get the feeling that's what's going to happen but yeah i mean i, I kind of like it like that because i i never really always like managing equipment for it and being like okay i fast roll now no uh, let me take off this can i fast roll now no, oh, let me take off this. Okay, not a fast one. I'd, I'd rather just be like, okay, I can wear this equipment. There you go. That, like, that's all the thought you need to put into it. I can wear this equipment. You want to roll more? Well, you don't bother taking off your equipment. Work on your agility stat. Like, I, I don't know. It's like, I have mixed, I have mixed feelings about it. But, again, although this is obviously not confirmed. I'm sure some guy... Is gonna watch this video months from now when Dark Souls 2 came out and be like, God, this guy's an idiot, doesn't know anything about Dark Souls. Shut up. Look at the date this video is posted. 
<laughs> uh, I guarantee you, if you're complaining that I don't know stuff about Dark Souls 2 right now, then I probably have Dark Souls 2 videos up on my channel and where I then explain stuff. I'm just gonna take this guy with me. New friend. Come, new friend. Actually, I wanna go this way, but I already aggroed that guy. I don't care though, I'm just gonna keep running by. But yeah, if anyone is yelling in the comments that I don't know something about Dark Souls 2, then it's probably because they're watching this video months later after it was posted and I already have Dark Souls 2 videos up where I already know this thing that you're saying. Because trust me, when Dark Souls 2 comes out, I'm going to be the first one to know every. Well, not literally the first one, but I'm going to be one of the first guys to know everything. I like to really like Dark Souls and uh, you know, stay up to date with all those secrets and stuff like that. Obviously, the first playthrough, you're going to be completely blind, so... Uh, you know, I'm not going to go online and look up all the secrets from my first playthrough, but you know, second playthrough I usually like to... Once I finish the first playthrough, I usually like to go to the second playthrough and look up where some secret areas I might have missed are online, and then go experience those. Because, I mean, secrets are nice and all, but I don't like to constantly go around and just bashing all the walls with my sword hoping to find a fog wall. That's dumb. I don't like that, but it seems like some of the, a lot of the secrets in Dark Souls 2 is going to be... A bit more straightforward. I don't know. Like I like anyone who saw that 12-minute gameplay footage where they like shoot that. Oh, actually, I wanted the reverse hollowing. Anyone who saw that 12-minute gameplay footage where they like shoot that ogre or whatever in the face, or not like the cyclops thing in the face, and breaks down the wall. Obviously, I'm thinking that there's gonna be like an item in that room where he broke down the wall. So I'm, I'm definitely gonna do that. This. Seems, I mean, I guess that's. I guess that's not more straightforward. That's just more cleverly done. You know, instead of bashing all the walls, you can be like, hey, there's a guy, then let me shoot him in the face. And then he gets angry at you, and then, like, a secret shows up, and you're like, oh. So I think I think if you actually go into the game with a more childish approach, you might actually find more... As, as weird as that sounds, I think going into the game with a more childish approach to finding secrets, you might uh, you might find more secrets. You know, I mean, think about it. If you had like, kind of a childish approach to that, and you were like, hey, I'm going to shoot that guy in the face. <laughs> He'll break out and scare the crap out of you, and then you'll go in there and maybe find a secret or something. I don't know, because I guess I guess when you kind of go look for secrets a bit more. Oh, look, there's, there's someone's in here. Let's, let's summon them. When you look for secrets with a more serious approach, I feel that you constantly think, okay, which one of these walls seems the most breakable, and then you start smashing it, or you'd be like, I think this this seems like an area where they would place a fake wall. But, you know, you know what I mean. Hopefully, if the sound did F up earlier, this, the commentary I'm doing talking about Dark Souls 2 is a good enough distraction from it. Or it makes it so you just don't care that much about it. I don't know. I will be very upset if the sound is F up, because there's nothing I can actually do about that, which is really upsetting for me. I like how he said, I'll be upset about it, because this will happen, and it's very upsetting. That's just, uh That's like when you say what you're feeling in a play. That makes me angry! That's from Futurama. It's a Futurama joke. I'm a thief. Alright, they're all dead. All my friends are dead. Wow, they're like all clumped up in a ball. Latching on me. What is this, the movie Ants? Gonna be a giant wrecking ball? I'm sure most people haven't seen the movie Ants. It's okay. Okay, movie. Oh, it's another summoning sign. Let's do this. Guy kind of looks like my buddy JC, except that guy has a receding hairline. Actually, I pretty much just say that everybody with blonde hair is, looks like my buddy JC. So that looks like my buddy JC. Summoning Solaire. I saw a health bar. Let's just go. If that guy doesn't show up, he doesn't show up. What the frack and do? What the frack and doodle? Get out of here, Solaire. There you go, good boy. Yeah, we don't need to see that. Of course, it doesn't skip immediately because I have Solaire in my game. I don't know why. It's like, I, I mean, I would imagine it doesn't skip immediately because it's like, you have another player in your world. They need to make sure they're all loaded up with the cutscene. But it's an NPC. It still treats it the same, though, which is kind of weird. Summoning failed. Oh no! A hole is lost now. 
Whoa, I didn't, well, I mean, I knew you showed up. I didn't know you were already breathing fire. Hellfire. And these guys have noticeably more health when you uh, don't set up the boss before Solaris finishes showing up. Alright, so that was a 45 minute episode. I'm sure you'll all be pretty pleased about that, and also be pretty pleased about laughing at me dying in such hilarious ways. We're gonna ring this bell, we're gonna talk to the guy, and then we're gonna head back to Firelink Shrine, and we're gonna end it there. Ding dong. Just so you know, I, the, the, my voice isn't super delayed. I just was an idiot and said ding dong like 10 seconds after I rang the bell. Hello. Give me the best gesture in the game, please. Thank you. Uh, let's buy one ring of sacrifice. Just in case I forget to pick one up before the Seath fight. Or, you know, the first Seath fight. Also, let's buy two purging stones. And two homeward bones. There we go. You're not welcome. Alright. Hey everybody! Ha 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 ha! Uh, I'll take this elevator down. So. One thing people don't talk about much, but. I really like in games, it's just really extensive character creation, and I hope Dark Souls 2 has much more extensive character creation than uh, Demon Souls and Dark Souls 1. Demon Souls, basically, you can just edit their face. Dark Souls, I mean, like, in Demon Souls, you can edit their face with sliders. Dark Souls, you can edit their face with sliders and have preset bodies. Now I kind of hope that in Dark Souls 2, you have more, like, face sliders, as well as some body sliders as well, so you can have that fucking guy who just has super muscular arms and nothing else. I think that'd be pretty funny. And you know, if you make him swing around giant weapons, but maybe you want to make him agile, it kind of uh, makes sense. Uh, Don't make him super bulky, but give him like these ridiculously ripped arms. Anyway, almost forgot. I want to murder this man. And I'm going to reload. I'll see you guys in the next episode.